ejo ka to joko akori ori 289 baba ko die e ko fi tempo meji si mo like be eh but mo like be you know i like the fact that you're keeping on a certain cool tempo but i want you to put some energy into it right i want you to have that feeling of the vibe i get people to dance and understand that the point of existence today is not by our might, not by our own will, but by Heavenly Father's grace. Ojo ayo, lojo ojije. Because we want to come to God and tell Him that we're excited, that we're happy, that has given us the opportunity to come before His presence. We are too fast to get by like two steps. Hey, Daniel, but by Jesus Christ, you know, maybe you have gone two steps farther. I've never heard about God before. This is my first time that I'm married by God. Kosi, ah, you know, I show Jesus Christ, Nico. Kosi, no, oh, boy, you could Christy look here. So that means we're embedded in this will. We are embedded in his grace. We are embedded in his love. So yes, when we come before God's presence, we should be excited and happy and joyous. Or when I'm moving too fast again, let me go back two steps. I like to be really interactive. So my for any scenarios for between seven o'clock this morning and this moment, how many times have you said thank you, Lord? How many times? 50. 15. A shot. Okay, because me want you more than be five. Like you know, long. But G now, but the G, but the you know, bed near Shubu and Conesse. Like you open your eyes, you could see your mouth. You could talk. You could hear. Your eyes were agile. You stood up. But you can make six by Abby. You still work. You went to your bathroom. You took a shower. You didn't sleep. You didn't fall. But yet again, you still went. Ah, even for me. You had your food. You had water. You drank. Then you got into your car. You started your car. Could blow. Oh, no, 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 yo. What's it called? You, you went out. You stopped at Uber. And you got a car. And what? Oh, Bayer Salon. Oh, yet again. Oh, no, you've heard stories about people getting to wrong Ubers in Canada, right? No, it's only in Nigeria. No, it happens. But then again, you came. You worked. You got a shot. You didn't sleep. You didn't fall. You didn't get into an accident. Because in lobby 20, where are you? So your, your existence, your standing, your occurrence, that yes, between that moment and that 7 o'clock, let's go back to 12 midnight. You slept. Okay, anybody see you record that? I'll go back soon. I challenge you guys to do it. A book camera, a plug yo. Kewasu. Kesu. You're not playing back in the morning. And watch the events of what happened at night. Chebeyi. Then Dapi no leche. You will be surprised. I said, Moshele. And you wake up in the morning like, ah. And there were moments that you didn't have clearly understanding of what was happening. People call it momentary death and sleep. You went to sleep. You could not shell an eye home. Where are lambs do? Where are you rushing like when? You don't know. But yes, God kept you. So we should be happy. We should be excited in His grace, in His presence. So my friend, I'm working with time, and I will please. Uh, media, sometimes I go out of line. I know. And I'm trying to keep this as trimmed as short as possible so that the message can go in and you can get and can understand. So, in 289. So that we, we can dance. When God's presence, oh, we are in front of our father. This is an opportunity to your seat. 
That things that we can do here that you can't do anywhere. So my boss is dancing to Lord Joe anyhow. Things are never juicy here. All about out here. But don't want to touch me, man. So why can't you dance? that God has put in our choir shall not depart from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I thank <laughs> my father in the altar and my mother sitting here forth. Uh, I know I was introduced as a, as a guest, as a visitor, but I wonder if I'm a guest at Quadribo de Paris. But yet again, when I got the call um, for the secretary, that I was invited to speak. I wonder that I thought, making the move so I was coming to Calvary Mode Parish. I have some big wigs here that I know that I should not call their name. I have some superior above superior. I have some venerables above venerables. Yeah. I have some mother celestials above mother celestials. Yeah. So I'm wondering that what is the little in me who wants to come and say that has not been said before. But I remembered that the Lord said in his Bible and said that there's no iota of his word that shall not go unsaid. And I thought in myself that even if it's Alimi and Mark Kendi by it, I felt it was going to make meaning. And it was going to have an impact in our life. Because I don't control myself. There was a reason. And I wondered out of all the old people, those that know me, they know that I like to walk behind the scene. I like to be the quiet one. But... <laughs> I wonder, for whatever reason, CFP has ever put me in the spotlight today. Whatever it is, I pray that the spirit that God has instilled in this institution shall not depart from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That the leadership of this church, that whatever it is they're striving to do, whatever work we're working together in togetherness to work towards the heavenly race, that shall not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And at, the sojourn, and at our end of the, at our end of our sojourn on earth, we shall not be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
talking about the parish, I greet everybody. Shalom. I won't take all of our time today. I'm going to just key on some few things, some few facts. And I sat down and I resonated and I wondered that words have been shared, words have been said. That what is the key thing that misses from when we read Bibles? We all read our Bibles, right? If I'm so wrong. I like my sessions being interactive. So when people don't respond to me, it makes me feel I'm not listening. We all read our Bibles, yes? yes and we all have one way or the other heard about God and the gospel of Christ. And I'm here now. I'm sure this podium has graced diocesan heads, evangelists, superiors, people that are ranked higher than me in spirituality. And they've said so many wondrous things. But there's one key thing that I notice misses when we send the word of God out. We don't self-reflect. We don't meditate. When someone says, Jesu Lulua, uh-huh, Jesu Lulua. We all know Jesus is Lord. But I've sat down and gone, through and gone deep and thought about why Jesus is Lord. Okay, let me give us another practical example. The Bible said, Mary had Jesus around, not the word, the Bible didn't say. There was no specific age, so let me don't say what I don't know. But the Bible scholars had said, that Jesus, Mary had Jesus around the age of 15. Right? If you go by the regular month that women and mothers carry kids, that means Mary got pregnant around 13 and 14, right? Or 14, basically, before that Jesus. Now imagine, these are our mothers and our fathers, we have kids. Now imagine an angel comes to you and says, uh, Mary, you're going to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Even Mary was amazed herself. She said, ah, I've never seen the man. I'm a, I've never seen the man. I'm a virgin. But yet, when Jagera comes to him and said, yes, you're going you're gonna to bear, you're going to give birth to Christ, who's going to rule over the throne of the king of David. And he was like, no, 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 why? If I'm a Rona, a 15-year-old, Giving birth to Christ. Then we have 25. She said, Yes, it's 18. Okay. You know, maybe I'm over exaggerating. Abby? I'll be honest. Okay. Well, let's go and let's, let me give an example. Look at Kamal Ronio. I'm trying to go right into our good thoughts and make us think about some certain things. But in the normal day, we don't think about. Because it's not about the word being shared, it's about the level two. Of we actually wondering and going deep into the thoughts of why those certain scenarios happen and what it's meant to be achieved from those things. Okay, let's go over and see when Abraham was going to have Isaac. 1775? Seven, uh, so this is called uh, God told Abraham that he's going to be part of our nation. One was waiting. You are one. Not two. You are two. Not him, you are three. Not him, you are four. Ah. But I was told this was straight word from God. Even say I was at the point was like she lost hope. I had to get her married. Went to New Wish to have a child. Because there was talk that maybe it's not from me. Maybe it's from another path. The Bible told us that Sarah was ninety when she had Isaac. Now let's think about that too. At ninety. At 90. Eh? 90, I want, it'll be more 90. And it was stress free. It was painless. There was no issue. There was no CS. There was no Eja Oto. There was no Omi Oto. There was no Ekma Okawa. Ekma Okawa. It all went well. Why? Okay, let me even give us an interesting one. And I like using this example a lot. Um, I'm sure a lot of us have cars or have properties. Now imagine I come to you and I say, ah, okay, we're in Lawrence. I'm trying to finish up the Anthony with Rose and say, Rose, don't worry. But we're me talking to a project life, Abby. So buy a car for a Lati. Lati, straight from the factory, specialized for you. Now imagine I come to you and I tell you that you want to talk to job already. Oh, I don't want you. But you're going to for you. Oh, I don't want you. And then you're going to be a little bit of be in law program, Connie. I'm not calling. I'm not, you know. Boa, 
Ke bo abang Mani a Ke ba fwe bang Sine tokin jwa ma fwe I will give you a good example Mami I pa de yon O wa lo yon be Ke ba pa yon chi chi Ke ba ni mami I pa de Ke ba kon lef ni ma fwe I pa de I pa to wa lo yon But that's for different view. That was the story I said about Jesus Christ. He took Jesus right out of the mountains and said, God, look at the whole earth and the world. If you bow for me, I'll give you. You give me what I own. <laughs> you were like, ah, everybody, oh, I need, let me go and meet last week, doctor. You know, go over your bargain. And that's the key thing that I'm trying to extract out. Whatever situations that's happening right now, whatever it is we live right now, it's already written in the word. But we read the last text. We don't take time to sit down and digest it and self-reflect over those words. So, a question. And like I said, I like my church to be interactive. So all the old story I've said now, what was the context out of it? God does as he pleases. And that's the security of God. No one, no one, because you think you're a graduate, you think you have money, or because you think you have a billion dollars, you will, you, you'll be sustainable. Or because you think you, you'll have a good health, you're fine. Or because you think, yes, you've got everything, you own the world. Forget it. Now that life you have. <laughs> okay. I'm going to free now on that question. So. I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to my Hello? Hey. What money? I'm about to get my money. Hey, man. Hey, I'm about to get one fifteen. Ah. Okay. Maybe that will see no future. But you know what, Drew? Okay. What happened at twelve o'clock today, outside in the end front entrance? Okay, okay. What happened at eleven thirty at this entrance here? Hello, Wale, eleven thirty. So Wale, to You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I don't know. And there's someone that knows. So why? Why? I think that's rounded all to him. You know, over the week, over the week, I think it was yesterday, uh, Barita was texting me, asking me that, ah, what was the title of your sermon? And I was like, in my mind, I was like, ah. Do I ever give titles to my sermon? And I asked him, I said, when he comes, I'll let you know. And I was smiling when I texted him. I said, when he comes, I'll let you know, because I didn't even know what was going to come. But this one, I texted him, I said, the blessings in believing. And I, and I looked at those words, and I was like, blessing in believing. I'm like, so what do you? That means there's no blessings in no believing. And I sat down and I said, oh, yeah, that's true. Then I was like, no, 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 no. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's to do the justification of being in faith and are daring to fight. Then I was like, in my mind, this one, I was like, ah, I'm not an English scholar. Maybe I didn't get it right. So I decided to go and Google what faith and blessing is. You know, people think faith and blessing are the same. Have you? It's not the same. Ah, oh, everyone, shit. Me, you understand. Am I? This session, this, like, I, I like when 
I see reactions. I like when people actually respond to my question. I like when I see people just sync and connect to the message. So faith and blessing. Shake a Okay. So to know shake at the in the dictionary. So then draw more. So Moju will already. What is faith? Babonta Ori. Ota Ori. Bali Babo. We won't bought me tea. I shame on it. Believe in God. And I pray. No, no, honestly. No, it's not a joking matter. Because God has given us that will and power to ask for what we want. Mama said, What she wants this 109. That's Mama's desire. And I pray, Mommy, by the grace of today, the will, the strength, the energy you need to surpass 109, God will bestow upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy say to pull you down, to reduce that age, for Nisha, for yeah. And that's what we all sometimes don't feel into. So let me go to what I copied today. So if I'm wrong, don't say it's me. It's the dictionary I copied it from, that I come from. So faith is an assurance and hope in things that we do not see. Belief is an acceptance that a statement is true or he exists. Okay, so uh, the description for that says faith involves reliance and trust. It endures in the face of doubt. Whereas belief is simply something we take to be true. I can have faith in things or people without the corresponding belief. And I can believe things I don't have faith in. Right? Belief clings. Belief clings. Faith can let go. Belief clings. Faith can let go. Which means, if you have faith in something today, you can be out of faith of that item tomorrow. But if you believe in something today, You have to believe in that thing forever and ever. Even in death. Even in all trouble. Even in tribulation. Even at war. Even in low times. Even in high times. You believe. With no proof. Yeah, it's just a little element of faith in it. But that's a clear difference. So which literally means that believing is a wider expanse. If, you're, if you believe in something, you might have a faith into it. Maybe that's your, your level one of believing. So once you believe in it, you're cued and you're guaranteed. Okay, so let me now circle back. We believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. True or yes? We believe that this life we have was given to us. True or yes? Okay, we believe that we're existing for a purpose and a reason. True or yes? Okay. We believe. Okay. I'm saying you because now it involves me. That I'm here for a purpose and a reason. True or yes? Okay. And there's so many meaningless beliefs. That goes on and on, on and on, on and on, on and on. Our first lesson was all the belief of faith. Israel was at war. They didn't have anything. They didn't have, they didn't have food. Then Elisha woke up and tried to give a message that all the children were eating was good. You know, just, just imagine now what happened in Nigeria. I like to use Nigeria as an example because it's our country. And right now, uh, they said they sell for a thousand. Okay, no, that's even very conflicted. The dollar is about a thousand dollars now. So now, now imagine that some of you are saying, yeah. Maybe after one day of drinking water, I won't say um, maybe after drinking water, I'm very high on water. 
and I will go to the social media and say, I believe that dollar will be 100 naira tomorrow. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so that's even the context. There was recently in the news, there was uh, somebody that came up and said, at, uh, is it May 27th or March 27th, that the world was going to end? I'm not sure what date he did say. And when people called him out afterwards, he, he said, oh, he prayed and fasted for everybody. I don't know. I'm not trying to justify that. I'm just trying to tell you, I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about the actions of what happened afterwards. I'm keen more on the, the exigency of the story. Or maybe I'm even going too far. If I come here right now, I remember uh, Aladario prayed and said we wanted a big place. And we're praying for that. And I pray that before next year, by God's grace, God is going to give us a bigger place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I remember that barrier prayed, I wanted a big place. And maybe I just walked in here right now. And I say, tomorrow, we have a new cathedral. One, 3,000 capacity. Amen. I'm sure people call call my boy, boy, hey, what? Can you, my boy, you know? <laughs> people know to what? They want, yeah, last year, one thing, I know what, that one thing, one, one to drive three hours. Oh, my God, also. You know, like Nile, no? But that's the thing. When I said it, you know, when you have a buoyancy of belief and you have that capacity that when words have been said and when words have been disseminated, it's possible. Not because you want to make it happen, it's not you. It's not you, because there's nothing you can do. How many of us even, how many of us even used to, okay, wait, okay, let me even do some very fun examples again. I like doing this a lot. Now, to buy gel, say about gel, keep the probability to go my digest. There are some things that we don't think about. This life is very, very fun and very, very mysterious. But there are people that have actually seen children remove their teeth. And the people that really, they don't even think about it. It's not an issue for them. So they don't even need to believe the fact that, ah, I need to believe. The, situ- the, the time it becomes a problem, then it becomes fully blown to where you start thinking about it. And when it goes to your thought, you know, when, I can't remember who wrote the book, it said, as a man thinketh, so he is. It says a lot of things about the power in thought. And where does belief start from? From your hands, from your heart, and your heart it moves where. So we believe when you accept it to your head, and it says going to happen, and you look at it, ah, okay, but really, I say, oh, you do really, but my limitations doesn't give me the power to get it done. Who can fix it for me? God. Eh? And then, God knows. Has anybody read the book Secrets or seen the movie Secrets? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very funny book. So that book uh, said the world is, well, it said, the book said the world is controlled by some energy forces. That So he has a control that tries to limit your expectation before it achieves it. So if you tell your mind, your brain, that you're going to get a million dollars tomorrow, the universe has accepted it. You will get it. But, but the universe is now checking you. And I'm, I'm laughing because, <laughs> you know, everything I'm saying now, eh, just be saying it's God. Just be putting God is now, God is now, God is now. You know, Father, that everything is said in that book is just what God would do normally. But for whatever reason, I don't know what the author thought, or maybe he thought something differently. He just did it in a very straight line manner. He said, the universe now weighs and sees, ah, okay, so one example they used in the book was a man that wanted to go to a safari. That he sat down in his house and he was looking like, ah, I was in a safari seeing elephants. And maybe he thought about it and elephants came right to his living room. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of it. Like, Joko Bay is saying, there we also be, I want to brown you out. More good. And maybe by any row you're right, he let you know, but see by Dam Talo Maduro. Or, well, I want a brand new car. 
ene ti ro ko ba fun se olorun olorun temo tu temo tu temo tu bo le gba to e bayi jesus pe se moto tu mi fun ni ami ami loruko jesus bam bi to wa me bo te bo si waju e he would run so that's what god does he regulates our requests and he comes also is weighing us in a sense that was this guy loyal to me is this guy giving is it being specific about my my rules and tenets is he living in a straight life even if he has a different checklist for everybody because i know the bible said you can't be wallowing in sin and expect blessings to be more but yet again there's some people that they are in debt in sin and they are blessed more than even righteous people I remember when in 2003 there was a there was a state drama in you you know it was bad and then they called it the bush case and part of the comedian said e bi fo lo do do ala e shodo do yo ko e bi fo and i sat down and i most times i think about it really and i was like but yeah again okay thank you eh ayan je e bo bara said bo ye won olun sola ko se ni pe Look at that. Ah, in the womb, my brother will jump to my colleague. I don't know what I said. Don't know where I'm. It's not that I had 20, 30 kids before. I was like, no, we don't have no kids anymore. Yeah, it's me, it's me. That's it. It's done. It's done. So, I sat down to my like God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you baba lo shi share first lesson. Then Elisha said. Then Elisha said. Hear you the word of the Lord. Hear you the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Tomorrow about this time. Yes. Shall a measure of fine flour. Yes. Be sold for a shekel. Shall it make fine flour. It was so expensive. It sold for 80 shekels before. But tomorrow. Between now and tomorrow. It was going to sell for one. Yeah. And two measures of barley. And two measures of barley. For a shekel. For a shekel. In the gate of Samaria. Yes. Then a lord, yes. on whose arm the king leaned, uh -huh. answered the man of God. Yes. And said, and said Behold, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, yes. might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, Eshe. but shall not eat thereof. Thank you. It was a different situation. And Elisha came and said, Things are going to change. In not in a gradual manner. I bet people it was done about the hundred when Bobos in nineteen say no. Money are no more. But that's the hundred one to one. What we are why are you in Kilomu? And the guy openly went said that no, it's not gonna be possible. That if there was windows in the heaven, that that was way above and beyond. But yet again, there were events that were led down the line with the four lepers. Going to the coming camp. That was going to change the whole scenario. Uh, my my safety people will say uh, the sweet cheese model. That events were already prepared and lined up. That he didn't see. That God that controls things, the creator of all things, that I am that I am, the omnipotent beside God, he that is present in all situations, he that has the key to lock and open, had seen and told his prophet Elisha to pass across. That's believing. 
And there was a blessing with it. Those that believed, they got the blessing. They got the, the, they got the, the actual blessing of it. I pray that whatever stuff, whatever events, whatever thoughts that will make us and put us in a spot of disbelief from the words of God, from visions and prophets and messages sent to us, God will take from our hearts today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But yet again, in that same context, there was a straight repercussion for not believing, right? But today, we're talking about believing. When new kids are born into the Lesbian Church of Christ, right, we have this long list of two or back, two or back, two or back, in Deuteronomy chapter 14 that we read. I would love to read the first 25 verses. Would you like to go into the curses? First 14 verses, apologies. But I'd like to go into the curses. Because that's what we key upon. And that's where our existence key is, is valid. The second lesson is all about the same context too. Can we second lesson go back to? I'm trying to go as fast and speedy as I can. Because I'm going to give me a red card, right? Give me a yellow card. Can we start from verse 12? I know both. Yes. How to be abased. Yes. And I know how to abound. Yes. Everywhere in all things, yes. I am instructed both to be full uh -huh. and to be hungry, yes. both to abound yes. and to suffer need. Yes. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Okay, not like the version here, but I was, I'm going to look at my NIV here and it says, I know what is to be in need, and I know what is to have plenty. I have learned a secret of being content in every situation, whether well fed. Or hungry. And verse 13 is similar to what she said. <clears throat> I can do all things in Christ which strengthens me. Um, I'm not sure if that you is correct. When you leave everything and it takes you, there is definitely no response. But there's something on the straight line to being and gaining fully and being blessed by believing. It starts by one key thing, believing the word of God. That's a key thing. Adhering and rotating by this word. And staying in faith. And when you stay in faith, you are going to experience the benefit and the blessing of believing. It's just simple. The best of believing we know are ourselves. It's new now. Like, we see that all the time. But yet again, if you sit down every minute and think about God's protection, God's grace, God's provision, God's benevolence over your life, you will write that list there to be endless. Right? So if you believe in God and you believe by his ways, you're guaranteed of all those things. I have some listed here. I think I said, I think there are some key things. But, I've, but I'm going to narrow it down to maybe four or five so that I keep with time. Confidence and assurance. Confidence and assurance. Not bad, but we will go like that so soon. Honorable proud. Man. You can imagine when you, you I remember the time and this is a very fun example. Um, but we're short on rent. My shepherd has said, ah, And I laughed when he said it. But the Mitchell was serious. We didn't pay rent with uh, Kiari and Yatino. I'm just saying. But 
you want some certain confidence. God made way. God provided and turning to him at that time. But you have the confidence and be so sure that whatever is a set path is due. Because you believe. Because you believe. Like imagine you have no clue. You're going for an interview, you're going for a job. You don't want to give it a job or not. You're overqualified. And you think you get a job. No. Have, have you not applied to jobs that you're overqualified for and they tell you that you're not qualified? I'm going to be resume me that you won't carry. So if you were stuck. In that belief of God, definitely the benefit of confidence and reassurance is yours. Because you have nothing to worry about. The other, the other thing I have to tell you is inner peace. A lot of times we worry about things that we have no control about. Who has told you that if you go to work, they will pay you? Who has told you that even if they pay you, you, the money is going to reach your hand. Who has told you that if you earn a million dollars, you will be comfortable? Go and check statistics. The more money you have, the more deficit you have. If you are earning two thousand dollars a month, what about for my son? It's more about money. Ah, it's about calling that five hundred dollars. See, can you hear me? Now I'm okay. My list is five hundred. We have about five hundred dollars. Yes, see. What about? Can you do something? What you pay? Ah, when you do, it's about sharing me. I call it that be four thousand. To be read to me is one five. Moto five hundred. Insurance five hundred. Four thousand. Might be one thousand five. You want that four thousand for? So when you hear and leave her and you seek yourself with the words of belief, you have inner peace. These are things that you just worry about. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. God will speak to you. He will encourage you. He will give you words. He will never leave you. He won't. When he says they're worried about, ah, food has gone up, inflation, and the value price has gone up. When he says Elisha said, he told them the word. Those that believed, be- those that believed were not worried because they knew that, ah, when Prophet Elisha said it, ah, definitely, Omar Shele, yeah. I don't have to worry. So the next thing will be like, feel la feshe. What will be the next thing to do to be ready and prepared for that action, right? So you get all those guidance and direction. The next thing I have here is content, contentment. Contentment. Hello, Mommy Ashi. So Yoruba has a flavor, Yoruba has a way of putting sweetness into things. If you measure words in English and Yoruba, the English is always too official. The Yoruba is always when what did Yoruba say? I don't have to learn in Yoruba. I don't know. It's a long. It's a long. And that's what it does. That's what it does. To my brothers and sisters in Christ. Would you rather believe or not believe? You never stay and worry about things that you have control over, that you, con- you don't have control over. Would you want to cast all your cares and all your burdens to God? Or you want to be as I'm sitting right now, carried by absolute I can get it done. I can do it. Sometimes when I sit down, and I read through uh, Ian's book and all stuff. And just today, I just said it. That a lot of things, the things we need to run a good life, it's right in the Bible. There's nothing you want to go through. There's nothing in this world. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, yeah, so there's nothing spectacular. But we have a source, and we have hope, and it's in God. 
And this wonderful phone, I started to give it a cocoon, that chill, to put you in a single direction. Because God knows that as humans, our mind travels far on so many things. I've never seen any any uh, in book as specific as the uh you remember I'm glad she very much by I don't know why go to the fresh down eh oh very gesh oh also oh I think go oh nimo oh bara oh in here 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 like he specifically just gives you everything you need right so you fit in well in this house there's a book there's a song that used to sing there's a bible for us to back it up you're tired you're hungry there's a song to sing there's a bible for us to back it up and that's how you should live so to wrap up what i was saying is i said would you rather believe and get all the blessings of believing or would you rather stay in the ignorance and doubt and deal with the repercussions of it? I pray that by the grace we send it today, that God stretches our faith strong enough to remain steadfast in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That God instills that drive in our hearts to continually believe in his words in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And to wrap up, I think I've said that three times now. Right? We're going to sing hymn six. We're going to sing hymn six. Don't want me.